Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a new mom favorites video. All of the things that I'm going to share with you guys today are items that I am using as a new mom that I feel I could not live without. These items have been used every single day. They are well loved and they are well used. There are a couple of new items in here that I'm super, super excited to share with you guys that aren't necessarily new mom must-haves, but they're must-haves as a mom in general. So I'm going to share with you guys all of the things that I love that I just feel like I can't live without, and I'm gonna get started really quickly because I have quite a few items to share with you guys. I'm also going to put on my glasses because I cannot see without them. Um, these are new, they're from I Buy Direct, and they are the Sway um, glasses, and they are super cute, so just ignore the glare from my ring light. I just would really like to be able to see the items that I'm showing you guys and be able to see what's going on in the atmosphere around me. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm going to talk about some breastfeeding items that are a must-have for me in my life. And the first one is this organic mother's milk tea. I absolutely love this tea. I don't like the taste of it. It's not good at all. Um, I mix in a little bit of honey with this and almond milk or coconut milk if I feel like it's really gross, but I try to drink this at least twice a day, if not more, and it just helps with my supply. I feel like when I'm drinking this tea, my milk supply is a lot more, and uh, that's really good, especially since I'm going to be going back to work pretty soon. It's going to help me create more milk for cash when I'm not around so that he can be fed by other people. So, mother's milk tea, you can get this at Sprouts. I believe you can get this at like Safeway or any other like grocery store. Next is the Birth Song Botanicals Let There Be Milk Drops. These are disgusting guys, they are nasty. But when I pair this with my tea and then I eat a lot of oatmeal, um, I really find that my supply is a lot more. So I just do these about three times a day um, whenever I eat and then more if I feel like I need them but they're really gross. You can get these on Amazon and it's just called Let There Be Milk and they really do help with your milk supply. So the next couple of items are also breastfeeding related. Uh, the first one is these washable nursing pads and these are from the Mommy's Love brand and I will link these down in the description box below. These are the washable reusable breast pads and I really like them because I feel like the, dis the disposable ones, the ones that you just wear and then throw away, they're kind of like a waste of money and these are really great because you can throw them in the wash machine and they are reusable um, and they come in also all kinds of different colors this one came with all of these colors and then it also came with this carrying pouch and a wash bag so that you can throw them in the laundry and they're not going to get ruined or lost because we all know there's a sock monster in our washing machine and it also eats breast pads so um, these are really awesome and I'll show them to you there are they come in this little carrying case, and I like to just keep them in here um, when I'm not using them because it then they don't get lost in my drawer because I keep them in one of my drawers. And um, they're really, really great because they fit right in your bra. And uh, like I said, they come in different colors. So like these ones are blue, um, there's white, there's pink, and it really doesn't matter what color. It's just like I'm super OCD and I have to wear like the same colored ones every time. Like they have to match. <laughs> But that's just me and then they come with this really cute little laundry bag So like I said if they're dirty you can throw them in this laundry bag and wash them and they're not going to get ruined So I absolutely love those and when I'm feeling really full like when I'm gone away from the baby long enough where um, I know there's a feeding coming and when I take those um, milk production things. Uh, I feel like I need these more often. So I really absolutely love these. These are the Mommy's Love brand and like I said, I will link them down below. And then I also really love the Mommy's Love Organic Nipple Balm. This is awesome and I love the fact that it's organic. Um, it's linoleum free, petroleum free, dye free, cruelty free, gluten free, GMO free, and I like that you can use this on not only your setup, but you can use these on uh, like baby's chapped skin um, and other things like that. They just help moisturize and um, I'll show you guys what it looks like 
Um, it's just like a jelly type of consistency and I like that it's made with all natural ingredients and like I said it's really great for using on the baby's dry skin as well and I don't have to worry about wiping it off when I'm done um, when I'm gonna feed again I can just leave it on there and it's perfectly safe for the baby to get in and around his mouth so I really really like this um, nibble balm from mommy's love as well. Okay, so those are all of the breastfeeding items that I'm going to share with you guys. Also, the Medela breast pump is the best. That's the one I have. It's not one of my favorites, but it should be, um, but that's the one that I use. Okay, so the next couple of items are kind of like monitoring items, and the first one that I'm gonna talk about is the Outlet Heart Monitor, and I just have it here. It's charging, um, but this is a monitor that um, monitors the baby's heart rate and oxygen level while he's sleeping. And I know a lot of people won't splurge for something like this, but for a new mom like me, I'm constantly worried, is he okay? Is he breathing? Is he awake? Especially now that he's sleeping out of my bed. Like, I'll show you guys what he sleeps in, but he sleeps out of the bed now. And so instead of being able to just roll over and feel him to see if he's breathing, I can use this and have peace of mind. What it will do is if any of his oxygen or heart rate levels drop below a certain point or go up above a certain point, um, it will alarm me. It will blink red and it will sing like this super loud lullaby song and it will show me what his levels are. Um, I haven't had any of that happen yet, but it is great for peace of mind. These are super expensive, but I definitely think that you should invest, especially if you feel like you are a person that would worry if your baby is breathing at night and it will help you sleep a little bit better, which it actually does help me sleep a little bit better. Like I can't go anywhere without this thing. When I go back and forth from the valley to here, I have to bring this with me and it's perfectly adaptable to go to and from. And um, you just plug this sock in and charge it and then it's perfectly ready to go. So the outlet um, heart and oxygen monitor is definitely a necessity. Okay, so the next thing is the baby monitor that I use, and I don't use it a whole lot because right now we're living in my parents' guest room, but when I do lay him down for a nap in here, I do like to use a baby monitor to just check up on him, make sure he's not crying, make sure he's still sleeping. So I like to use this one. This is the Infant Optics baby monitor and it is a wireless digital video monitoring system so it comes with this camera here and I like this camera because it's do it does um I don't know if it's 360 I don't think it's 360 no okay so it's 270 degrees around so it goes pretty much all the way around and then it has 120 degree up and down visual it has the two-way talk so I can talk through it when I'm holding the monitor I can talk through the camera I can hear through the camera um, it also has the it has interchangeable lenses so I can get a better a better zoom on this if I wanted to um, it has the night vision so I can see him at night and then during the day it has color video um, picture and it comes with the little monitor that has an antenna it can go basically anywhere you can zoom with this you can see the temperature of the room with this I really really love this monitor I got this on Amazon as well and this was I believe about hundred and seventy dollars but like I said we'll be using this forever so it's a good thing to invest in if you're gonna be using it a long time and um, I really, really, really like this one because, oh, it does have infrared night vision. I knew it did. So this is the baby monitor that I absolutely love, and we did take a long time picking one. We really researched, we looked around, and this is one we really liked because you can also buy a second camera for it. So if you wanted to get like um, one directly on him in the crib and then one just on his room in general, you could do that as well. So we plan on getting the second camera. Once we're in our new house and he's sleeping in his own room, we plan on doing that. Okay, so the next couple items are diaper changing related and the first one I'm gonna talk about is just plain old Aquaphor. This is Aquaphor healing ointment for babies and as you can see, it is pretty much almost gone. 
Uh, we've had this for two months and we use this daily. We use this to put on his little tush in at every diaper change. And we, the reason we use it for every diaper change is because we don't want his poop to stick to his butt. And then it's awful to get off. It's like you have to scrape and it's just a lot easier to use this and have it just wipe right away. It also prevents diaper rashes and so we just use it religiously um, at every single changing. There is an alternative that I like to use as well, and that is the Honest Organic Healing Balm. And I carry this one in my diaper bag because I don't want to bring this big guy in there. And they don't have a big, like, jug of this available. So, I I mean, I go back and forth. Aquaphor is fine and dandy, but this is an organic alternative that I also like to use as well. And then the next diaper changing thing that I love is this little like portable caddy and I have two of these I got these from my grandma they were on my um registry and I did you can't these are from Amazon you just type in like portable diaper caddy and this will come up it is like a felt like a really thick felt fabric and it has these three different compartments and as you can see in here I just keep my wipes I have I usually keep my aquaphor in here but I keep like all the things I might need like the booger sucker the um my nipple cream the aquaphor um a pacifier and then over here is like diapers and like a changing pad that I use and I can just grab this and bring it into the living room if that's where we are I keep this next to the bed so that I can change him in the night I don't have to get up and go anywhere I just bring this and I change him right there on the bed and then I have my um, wipe warmer right there next to the bed as well which isn't a favorite but I really do enjoy having it especially living up in the colder area it does help he does prefer warm wipes over cold wipes, so whenever we can, we like to use those. But this is just awesome. It's really convenient. It has all these pockets, and you can interchange the compartments because they do come Velcroed on, and you can get them off if you wanted to just use it as a big bin. But I do have two of these, so one of them carries other things, but this one is specifically for diaper changing. So I don't know about you other moms, but gripe water is the savior of the world. Um, before I realized that my son was sensitive to dairy, I was using this, and I haven't used a lot of it. I think it's like to here. I think I used it like a couple times when he was really, really upset and just could not settle. Um, but it's really great for gas, colic, fussiness, and hiccups. Um, and it comes with a little, little dropper, and you just give them this. And I don't want to use it all the time, but in a desperate need, this is definitely a favorite. You need to have it for sure. And then the next thing is the Swaddle Me Swaddles. They are awesome because they have the Velcro on them and so your baby cannot wiggle out of their swaddle. Cash has to have his hands like up and on around his face um, to soothe himself and his nails grow really super fast so we're constantly having to file them, trim them and sometimes we just can't keep up. And he also does the startling thing where he like does that in his sleep and so he can't fall asleep unless he's swaddled. He does not like to be swaddled at first but once he gets used to it he's fine. But these are great because they have the velcro and um, so you just put them in there and then you put their arms down and then you velcro them in and they stay swaddled all night long. So he's just like a little burrito in his little sleepy, in his little docketot or crib or whatever he's in. So these are great. You can get them at Target. They come in packs of three and you probably could get them online anywhere too. Just look up like Velcro swaddle maybe and find those. Couple more items to go guys. <laughs> The next one is the Wubbanub, and I love this thing. It's awesome. Not only is there a pacifier, but there's a little thing for him to hold and cuddle. He doesn't realize he's holding it and cuddling it, but it really does help keep this pacifier in. When we use the Wubbanub, he doesn't really spit it out as easily, so it's really great for in the car or if you're putting him in a swing and you don't want the pacifier to fall out. It's just really great. These are all over the place and it's a favorite. I just can't live without this thing. Okay, the next thing I definitely recommend you get is the Docatot and you can tell mine's a little dirty. He spit up in it last night so I need to wash this today. But the Docatot is by far the best idea ever. I know that there's alternative items like the Docatot out there. Basically it's just a big long pillow 
and a little pillow in the middle and it's super simple. But this thing comes off and you can wash it and it's very easy to put back together. It unhooks so that as your baby grows, you can continue to use this. They have different sizes. And guys, honestly, for the first two months of Cash's life, and he still sleeps in this today, um, but he slept in this right here in the middle of our bed between the two of us. And it was just really, really nice to have him in the bed with us and know that we couldn't roll on to him, know that he couldn't roll out. He can't roll to his side. Um, it keeps him pretty snug and on his back and there's no like, there's nothing for him to suffocate himself on in this thing. And it's just, honestly, I could not have done the first two months of Cash's life without this Docatot. And it's even great now when I'm putzing around the house, I can just lay him in here and he's perfectly happy to be in it. And it's just, you need it. You need something like this to put your newborn baby in if you're going to co-sleep, which... I had to because I had a c-section so I couldn't be getting up and down uh, you know all night long and it was really nice to just have him next to me so a docatot or some kind of co-sleeping device thing you definitely need to have the other sleeping item I wanted to show you guys is the Fisher Price Fisher Price rock and play and I'm gonna actually bring it and put it on the bed here so you guys can see so it looks like this and it's just basically a swing and um, baby lays in here and then it rocks itself with this little like arm that comes out the bottom right here and it has like music and tunes and you can make it go faster or slower and the thing I really like about this is it's super portable. You just push this button and it folds up so that you can easily transport it to and from different places. And right now, so for the last couple of nights, Cash has actually been sleeping in this rocker um, and it's actually been working out really well. I just put him, let's move this out of the way. I just put him down here next to me on the floor on my side of the bed and he's getting to a point where he's sleeping longer through the night. I think he's going about four to five hours now instead of two, which is awesome. And so having him right here next to me is awesome and yet he's out of our bed. So it's kind of transitioning him from sleeping with us in bed to now sleeping in the same room, but not, you know, in bed with us. And sooner or later we will transfer him into a like pack and play type of crib and until then he's going to stay in this rocker because it like i said it's really close by but now i'm completely recovered so i can get up and like pull him out but i love that thing i bring i bring it to with me to phoenix i bring it to the kitchen i bring it to the bathroom wherever i need to be if i can't be holding him i put him in that i do also have the mama roo swing which is great um and he likes that as well but this rock and play is just like the bee's knees it's awesome. So the last item I'm going to share with you guys are these baby memory books by Unconditional Rosie on Amazon. And I absolutely love this little book. I contemplated doing a baby book and not doing a baby book and doing like a scrapbook instead. And this is kind of like the perfect medium. After receiving this in the mail, I decided I probably should get a baby book and I'm probably going to go back um, store on Amazon and try and see if they have an actual baby book but this is great because this is a memory book for your baby's first five years and I love the little dinosaur on here so they have a ton of different ones that you can pick from but I just love that this one covered the first five years and it had the dinosaur on it and it's really cool because it comes with these awesome stickers which you can put like on your baby and take a picture of them or you could just put the stickers somewhere in your book but it's cute this is like my first haircut I can crawl I can smile these are just cute little stickers that you could use but I love that this book comes with my first things and I haven't filled it out yet but I'm like super ready to do it I'm going to use my little um printer that I shared with you guys in my December favorites or my November my November favorites sorry um but it's great because you can put family photos in here, memories, um, height and weight. So as the baby grows, you can fill in how much they've grown, uh, doctor visits, immunization records, and dental records, which I thought is brilliant because where do you usually write? I mean, people don't usually keep track of this, but it is really important to do that. Um, it also has my first birthday through my fifth birthday, so you can put like a picture of them on their birthday with their friends, and then, um, 
their first day of school, which is so, so exciting. Um, and then here's like a place for you to put some artwork. And then these are just more places to put photos. So I absolutely love this because it's more of like I said, like a memory book for photos. And I just, I think I'm going to have to go and purchase a couple more because I think that this is such a good idea. Like I said, I probably am not one that's going to sit down and sit there and write every single memory. How I felt when you got your first tooth or things like that. So, but it does have a spot for you to write a letter to them and um from daddy as well so i just absolutely love this um idea and you guys can actually get these on amazon using my coupon code valdez10 all capital letters i will have the amazon store linked directly down here below and all you do is go ahead and pick out the book that you want and then at the end when it tells you to apply a coupon code you type in valdez10 and that is all caps 10 and you will get 10% off of your order so super super exciting these are awesome they also have a pregnancy journal book they actually sent me this one as well and I'm actually really excited that they sent me this one because my dear dear friend from school is pregnant and it's her first baby and I'm gonna give her this as a little gift when I see her because I just think that every mom every new mom should have somewhere to write some things down um, because it's just such a wonderful loving time and you want to remember all those things and I have a pregnancy journal that I kept and I'm really glad that I did that so this is super cute too so you guys have to have to have to go check this out and again it is unconditional rosy on Amazon and I will link it down below all right guys so those are all of my new mommy favorites I know I had a lot of them and this is a super long video but I felt like I needed to share because when I was pregnant and looking for all of the items that I thought, what do I need as a new mom? I would gravitate to these types of videos and I know it's not teaching related, but like I've said before, this channel is mostly about life and how things are going and balancing motherhood and teaching and so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful to any of you new moms out there and I hope you guys have a magical day and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys! Hi guys, it's Char. I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching my video today and for supporting my YouTube channel by subscribing. Don't forget to click the little bell next to the subscribe button so that you can see when I put up new videos. I hope you have a magical day.